crypto lightsaber back again with another video and I want to talk to you about a coin that is called Pateria. Alright guys, now this seems to be breaking out of an inverse head and shoulders as we speak. You can see on the uh, Dex tools I've had that drawn out this inverse head and shoulders. Obviously the chart uh, the, the, the price structure is a little bit different on each chart. Okay, as you can see this one is not from the neckline and this one is from the neckline okay we've got a breakout from that nevertheless okay now why do i think that this could potentially be making this move all right if you look on coin market cap you can see it's quite it's, it's got 7.2 million uh, supply all right it doesn't have all the information there all the tokenomics all right guys but it's currently sitting at six dollars and 58 cents or it's, obviously we can see it's a little bit more than that touching the seven dollar mark all right but if we go to the website there's not even a working website on this at the moment all right so we're going based on um, um, uh, price action and chart structure okay but when you go to the twitter what you'll see is that there's an article here uh, the world's biggest youtuber pewdiepie or pewdiepie promoted nfts and cryptocurrencies all right and i've, I've obviously heard of P uh, pewdiepie okay and it looks like he's talking about pateria so if we go to the article we'll find out what it's actually talking about here so the world's biggest youtuber pewdiepie promoted nfts and cryptocurrencies okay so let's have a read of this quickly and then we'll get into buy down i know some of you tuned in for an update on that not looking good but let's get on with this anyway so with over 107 million subscribers on youtube felix arvid not even going to try and pronounce that popularly known, popularly known as pewdiepie is the biggest individual youtube channel in the world the youtube sensation recently started promoting a pokemon style video game called wallem where he is also selling his in-game PewDiePie skin as a non-fungible token or NFT, we all know what those are. The game uses a 3D map and augmented reality to place virtual objects in the real world, kind of like the viral game Pokemon Go. Most importantly, the game features a cryptocurrency wallet and lets users collect Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies. What's interesting is that these tokens can then be transferred to external wallets and can also be traded on exchanges. Moving on, it says the game is available on both Android and iOS and rewards its users with its native ERC20 token dubbed Pateria. PTE also features special events with prizes from brands like Armani and Mata. All right, guys, so there you have it Pateria and PewDiePie. Okay, he's promoting um, his non fungible tokens in a game that uses Pateria, so there's utility there. So yeah, that's definitely something that's potentially bullish. I mean, that that's that's gonna you know turn a lot of heads. A lot of people that don't know about uh, crypto, a lot of people that are into this gimmick or gimmicky kind of stuff. A lot of people that follow PewDiePie with or PewDiePie, sorry, with his millions of subscribers or followers or whatever he's got. I know he's on. Uh, I think he's on Twitch. He's on YouTube. You know, he's all over the place. So yeah, that's definitely uh, you know something bullish for the crypto space almost like mainstream type of adoption uh, kind of thing but yeah definitely want to watch all right as you can see it what where well, it was breaking out all right guys but yeah definitely it could be some more upside for this it's literally come up and now it's literally having a little bit of a little bit of a, a, a pullback here we are on a lower time frame so if we go on a one hour you can see there's potentially a lot more upside for this especially if FOMO kicks in all right guys so moving on to buy DAO. okay as you can see this large red candle over here doesn't look good a lot of people are not going to be happy about that gosh i don't know what to tell you guys i mean this it just keeps going to the downside people have accused me for being a of being a buy DAO promoter and all that sort of stuff i mean if you've been watching my videos i've consistently been saying that I think the buy is going down. Uh, that it's got a lot of further downside. All right. I did think that it was beginning to level out. All right. And um, uh, once we reach this point, but I said if it does break the uh, this level over here, if it does break that, it's going to be some huge downside for buy down. And obviously, we can see that it is getting that downside at the moment. Some people are saying it's a rug pull. I won't say that this is a rug pull. I would just say that you know um, this is just a clear area that you don't want to be holding in. You know, past that week there, previous low, you don't want to be holding that. 
obviously if it breaks the ICO price which it did I said before that I expect it to go a lot lower some people might look at this at discount as discount buy down some cheap buy down but yeah to me this is just a bit of a disaster in terms of price action and it's a long recovery to the upside like I said before even if you get a token burn right at 50% of the supply okay and this was to somehow jump you know a hundred percent for example from the price where it is now that's not going to take you you know anywhere near the all-time high at this point you know so guys sometimes you have to kind of cut the losers and uh, you know jump into the winners because at the end of the day you know your capital is at risk holding something that's consistently in a downtrend all right guys that's really all I can tell you about that I mean it's not it's, it's, it's not encouraging obviously um, when, when you are holding long term all right guys but whether this can bounce back for that that's an, that's another that's another question you know but um, there's potentially you know if you did sell you know anywhere in this range anywhere in this range when you see this kind of pattern breaking down here we knew that there was going to be more downside all right I said it if it breaks that there was going to be more downside you know even if you sold up there even if you sold up there and you still wanted to long term hold you could be potentially buying back you know increasing your position massively um and with something like this but yeah it's definitely not looking uh, too great for buy that at the moment you know definitely uh yeah very sour taste in your mouth if you are holding buy down at the moment all right but you know some people they just they, they carry their emotions on their sleeve if that's the right term you know they're swearing they're, they're getting angry they're, they're making threats towards buy down or whatever uh, that's a bit ridiculous you know nobody forced you to invest in in any cryptocurrency you know um yeah <laughs> i mean the season we're in we're seeing a lot of tokens dump right let's not even talk about hex hex 2t and axion you know that that dumped to zero today okay there is no more is is zero all right hex 2t said they were going to put more liquidity in when i checked earlier liquidity was up to 25k you know that's a disaster all right and we're seeing many disasters in the space today all right guys so yeah this is just another one it could be worse you know it could have went to zero like hex 2t but it didn't all right or axion should i say because hex 2t still got a little bit of steam there but um yeah that's about it for now guys um downside for buy down okay pateria what do you think about pateria do you think this could be a good investment do you think um that's going to catch wind the pewdiepie, pewdiepie news all right guys let me know what you think in the comments about that if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe like and comment down below get over onto twitter and follow me at crypto lightsaber also also you can become a patreon and get access to the telegram group the link is in the description for that and yeah that's about it for now i'll see you guys in the next video